Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's class I am going to teach about pipelining process in VLSI design. So we already studied the pipelining concept in microprocessor and microcontroller. In microprocessor and microcontroller, the pipelining concept in this sense is doing the parallel operation. So at the same time, fetching the instruction from memory location, decode the instruction, execute the instruction. This process is called as the pipelining process. This video, I am going to explain how the pipelining concept utilized in VLSI design. So first we know what is pipelining. So pipelining in the sense it's a parallel operation, it's doing multiple operations at the same time. So pipelining is the process of accumulating instruction from the processor through a pipeline. So it allows storing and executing the instruction in an orderly process. So in this pipelining concept, storing the instruction and execute the instruction in an orderly process. So it's also known as pipelining process. So pipeline is a technique where multiple instructions are overlap during the execution. So during the execution, multiple instructions are overlapped. So in this pipelining structure, the whole circuit is divided into multiple stages. So divided into multiple stages. So these stages are connected with one another to form a pipe like structure. So it divided into multiple stages. The first stage output is given to the next stage input. The second stage output is given to the third stage input. So likewise this structure is going on. So it's called as a pipelining. So instructions enter from one end and exit from another end. So this pipelining process so mostly increase the overall instruction throughputs. In pipeline system each segment consists of an input registers followed by combinational circuit. So already I told the whole circuit is divided into multiple stages. So each stage consists of one register and one combinational circuit. So this combinational circuit is used to find the operations. So whatever input we give that input value is processed with the help of combinational circuit. So after execution that result is stored in a register. So the register is used to hold the data and combinational circuit perform the operation. So whatever input you applied based on the input the combinational circuit is perform the operation. So the output of the combinational circuit is applied to the input register. So of the next stage. So it's a basic block diagram of pipelining. So in this pipelining, we have a three stages. So it's stage one, it's stage two, this one is stage three. So each stages consist of one combinational circuit and one register. So S1 represent combinational circuit, R1 represent registers. So clock is a input of uh, this three register R1, R2, R3. So initially, first apply the input value. So this input value is connected to the combinational circuit. This combinational circuit is doing the operation. So after execution, the result is stored in the register R1. So this R1 register output is given to input of stage 2. So it's a stage 2, input of stage 2. So this S2 combinational circuit is doing the operation based on the input value get from R1 register. The output of the stage 2 combinational circuit is given to R2. So the result is stored in the R2 register. So likewise the process is going on. Then come to the types of pipeline. So in this pipelining process is basically classified into two types. The first one is arithmetic pipeline and second one is instruction pipeline. So what is arithmetic pipeline? So arithmetic in the sense we are doing a mathematical operation. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, sum, etc. So this kind of operations comes under arithmetic operation. So arithmetic pipeline are usually found in most of the computer. They are used for floating point operation, multiplication of fixed point numbers, etc. So for example, here floating point adder pipeline is x equal to a into 2 power a y equal to b into 2 power b. So in this floating point addition and subtraction is done in four parts. So first one is compare the exponents. So first you are comparing the exponent value. So after comparison, 
then align the mantissa so after aligning add or subtract the mantissa so finally produce the result so basically this arithmetic pipeline is mostly found in the computer then come to the instruction pipeline so instruction pipeline in the sense so in this string of instruction can be executed by overlapping so fetch decode and execute phases fetch in the sense getting the instruction from memory location decode means that the instruction is converted into machine level language and execute in the sense so after conversion of machine level language the processor will execute the operation so we'll find the solution of an instruction cycle this type of technique is used to increase the throughput of the computer system so increase the throughput of the computer system so an instruction pipeline read the instruction from memory so this operation is called as a fetching so fetch the instruction while previous instruction are being executed so current instruction fetch the previous previous instructions may be decode or execute in other segment of pipeline so thus we can execute multiple instructions simultaneously the pipeline will more efficient if the instruction cycle is divided into segment of equal duration so it's called as a instruction pipeline i hope you understand the concept very well if you are watching first time in my video kindly subscribe and support us to make lot of videos thanks for watching my channel thank you